Well, good day, everybody. Grab yourself some of that cacodemon salsa and also slice off a piece of that pinky ham. And let's get busy with some more Doom Zero for the PC. Play through GZ Doom on the Ultra Violence difficulty setting. This is the 100% walkthrough. And I am Big Mac Davis here, your host. And this is Map 11, Too Close to Home. All right, we're actually standing on a super shotgun, which will help us deal with the pain in the ass elemental in front of us. Hug the face! Hug the face! And we also have a chain gun from the dead chain gunner. But we also have a bunch of shotgun shells on the right side, which is going to help us deal with the vast number of cacodemons. My goodness. I mean, speaking of which, we can make a delicious salsa with these tomatoes, can't we? We'll just gather them in a tight group and just super shotgun them down. I think we can make a delicious salsa, absolutely. Ooh, that's just delicious. Look at all the tomatoes we have. So yes, this is a giant city map. It's almost like Plutonia, map 29, which I really like, by the way. The first thing I want you to notice is this giant, what looks to be a federal building, if you were, but it's locked by a satyr switch. So we have to find the switch to open up the exit. That is the exit area. Lots of rockets, lots of plasma, but we don't have the plasma gun or the BFG or the rocket launcher if we're doing this from a pistol start, but we will. The next thing I want you to notice is this apartment building, which we're going to go through and raid right now. Yes, we're going to raid some apartments. Um, hopefully we don't see any naked grandmas. That would never be a good thing, but we'll see what happens. There are a bunch of gunners we have to kill. Now, at the very top apartment, which I guess is the penthouse, because it's a very large room, there's a couple of things to note. One is the green armor, if you need it. The second is the yellow key, which we will grab. And the third is this Berserk Pack on top of the lockers. But there's no way to grab it right now. What we need to do is step on the trash can to get up on the desk and run forward to the Berserk Pack. And we'll nab that. The next thing we're going to do is get a secret area. We'll use someone's laptop. We'll type in the right password. And that will open up a door at the bottom of the stairs. Revealing this, what looks to be like a meditation room, I guess, with a plasma gun, so now we have it, and an invulnerability sphere. What goes on in this meditation room, I wonder, to have so much plasma and invulnerability? We'll save the invulnerability for later, by the way. There's one more secret up here, and that involves this switch. And we'll have to do the same thing as last time, get back up on the desk, run forward, and press the switch. But we must be quick through the door to get to the balcony for the supercharge. Yes, there's Mancubi down below, we'll deal with them later. And that's it. We raided the entire apartment complex. And we also alerted some cacodemons to our presence. So we'll let them come to us. And we'll tickle them. Yeah, see? He's bouncing. He wants to be tickled. Thought there was... Yeah, here they come. Two more. There's three total. 
<laughs> he just is going. They're both going up and up. Oh. They want to jump on top of me. Yeah. There we go. Sweet cacos. Lovely cacos. Now, let's not go in the middle of the street. That's dangerous. There's too many cars. As you see, yeah, heavy traffic. Oh my gosh, we don't want to get hit by any cars. Face the blue door, and we'll go to the left to the garden area, actually. A wonderful garden with a rocket launcher and a bunch of rockets. Also, in the corner are these steps which allow the gardeners to actually trim the hedges, I guess. But here we have someone's hidden stash. The gardener was being a little bit naughty, I think. He has his own private stash. In this case, a mega armor and some cells. No, not dirty magazines. All right, so now we're loaded. Let's take care of the mancubi. What I do is I fire a couple rockets and then use this alleyway as a hold point. Being careful not to damage yourself in the process. We'll also go ahead and kill the imps on the other side near this roadblock. And that's it. That's all the enemies in the street area itself. I love the lighting, though, with all these lights, too. So, we have the yellow key, which means we can find the yellow door. Uh, but first, I'm missing one area, and that is this dark alley with the chainsaw. Why is there a chainsaw in the dark alley? That concerns me. Anyway, here's the yellow door by all these barrels. Now this area can be a bit troublesome, but what I do is I just open the door and back up a bit, and then just use some rockets. Wow! Did you see that jibbed imp? He just flew a million miles an hour. All right. And then we'll let the Hell Knights, there are four of them, we'll let them collect in this area. Should be one more. There he comes. I see him way up there. And then we'll just use a few rockets. Being careful of the door, it does close on you. And since they give us bullets on the ground here, we might as well use some. The reason I'm not stepping in all the way is literally because on the right side is a pain in the ass elemental. Oh my gosh. So we'll let him come to us. Sometimes he has a very difficult time dropping down to your level. So you have to rush in and rush back out. And even then, Sometimes he won't drop down to your level. Come on, stoop to my level. You can do it. Okay, this has to stop. This has to stop. We put an end to your bullying. There we go. Now down here, I want you to notice that there's an arch vial behind that crate up there, allowing us to get the element of surprise with the plasma gun. Now what I do is I use this lift down here as a hiding spot. There we go, finally he died. He resurrected my wonderful decorations. So there is an ammo box here, and some shotgun shells, and also a green armor if you need it, so grab your fill. You can also ride this lift up and take the stairs. 
either or. The next thing to note is this ledge, which is a secret area with the energy cells and the backpack. You have to climb your way up. You can make the jump with a regular jump, but I'm going to strafe run across. I find it a bit easier to do that. Now in this area coming up, what I like to do is alert one revenant at a time, starting with the right one, and then the far back left one, and then the left one. The new pain sound effects are really starting to grow on me. I enjoy it. We'll grab the blue key. We will be back in this area once we have the red key, which will be later on, and you'll see when, when that will be. But we have the blue key, so let's go through the blue door. Now, they give us some plasma here for a reason, so we might as well get our plasma gun out because they also give us a plasma gun. Now, what you could do to kind of cheese this room, I'll only demonstrate it a little bit, is you can creep forward until you hear the sound of the door closing here. This door will remain locked for 30 seconds because it assumes you went all the way forward to grab the plasma gun. But you can wait here until the door reopens and then get the trap activated and then run out of the door. But we won't do that. We'll just get the trap going. Like I said, they give us some plasma for a reason. So we may as well use some of it. All right, perfect. We'll grab up all the armor bonuses. Not that we need them, and the health bonuses. Not that we need them either, but they're here. They count as items. Now up here, what I like to do, since we do have the Berserk Pack and the Chainsaw, I run in and get the Spectres alerted. And then just punch them to death. Now this room can be a bit troublesome, but what I like to do is actually first get the abundance of armor bonuses, and I mean in abundance of them. That's nearly all the items in the map in one area. We'll go to the right first and kind of shoot down all the revenants that we can without blowing ourselves up. Then you can switch to some plasma for the other revenants. There's the other one. Of course, he's going to be a pain in the hind quarters. That's all right. I didn't mean to blow myself up. Now I kind of wish I saved all those bonuses, but... That's all right. Usually I don't blow my, my dumb self up like that. There is a secret on the right. You can lower down the bookshelf to get the computer area map. We'll press the wall behind the computer area map to open up a wall on the other side with the red skull key. We'll grab that and also the BFG 9000. We'll creep forward until we see a few lost souls that we can kill. but also another, another pain in the ass elemental.
And here, at long last, is the Seder switch to open up the Seder door in the Federal Building. But we're not going to go through the Federal Building just yet. We will exit out, but we're going to go inside the yellow door again because a new wall has opened up, revealing now the red door. So we'll go through. Well, hello there, Dopefish. Dopefish lives. But now he's dead. He does count as a kill, and this guy, this enemy, is from Commander Keen Episode 4. Secret of the Oracle, one of my favorite video games growing up, by the way, also made by id Software. But he does count as a kill, so we must kill him. Now what I'm going to do is go back into that person's meditation room and grab the invulnerability, because there is a boss inside the Federal Building. Who is the judge in the Federal Building? Well, it's not Judge Dredd, because Judge Dredd is the law. Rather, it's the Cyber Judge. Wow, that was a miss. If I've ever seen a miss, but uh, the Cyber Judge is dead. So we'll grab up all of the ammo that we didn't grab before, or that I didn't grab before. We'll press the switch to lower down the pit, the infestation pit. And that's it. Let's go down, down, down. That was too close to home. A very cool city map. I really do enjoy this. It's a lot better than downtown from Doom 2, I will say that much. And, uh, yeah. Really cool concept, really cool design. I love the idea of finding the Seder switch to unlock the Federal building. And you, you raid apartments, you travel through gardens, you go through a, like, uh, a computer area. And, yeah, really cool. Really cool map, while you gather up all your weapons and get health and stuff like that. So, next time, we are in Underland in the next video. But first, story. The deeper you go into the city, the denser the demon population becomes, until you finally find the source, a pit leading to what may be the origin of the demonic spawn. You flick the blood and sweat off your brow, clinch your weapon, and then proceed to leap down into the depths of the infestation. Next time, we will be in Underland, Map 12 of Doom Zero. But that will be for next time. We're in some sort of underground, demonic building. It's made of red brick, but what lies beyond? We'll find out. I'm Big Mac Davis here. And take care, everybody. I'll see you in Map 12.